What's going on guys, Joe Robert here, back again with another print on demand product review and comparison video. Today we're gonna be taking a look at three hooded blankets. I have one here from Subliminator, I have one here from WC Fulfillment, and I have one here from All Over Print It. I'll jump right into it right after this. Is that a Toyota Corolla? Yes, it is. My name is Joe Robert. I am not a guru and I do not drive a Lamborghini. All right, guys, like I said, Joe Robert here. Today we're taking a look at some hooded blankets. I have a whole stack of them right here. If you guys remember, if you guys have been doing print on demand for a while, you remember last year when the hooded blankets came out, WC Fulfillment came out with them first, and then Subliminator, and then I believe all over print it. Pillow Profits has always had them as well, but I don't really count Pillow Profits because it is not a free app. So we're focused on these three blankets today. These things are absolutely awesome. I think you guys need to check out the full reviews. The link will be down in the description so you guys can make a great decision on which one you want to add to your store. They all have some definitely some good strong points about them. We're going to walk through some different things about them today in this product review and comparison video. Normally, all of my reviews on podninjas.com, we focus on things like price and mock-ups and design quality and all that stuff. Really today, I really just want to get down to basics with these. I want to show you guys some close-up photos. I want to show you how soft the inside looks. I want to describe the feeling of the outside to you. And I want to get you guys to know exactly what you are dealing with when you're selling these blankets. If you guys want to read the specifics about prices and all that other stuff, you guys can check out the links down in the description of this video. I'll have full reviews there on podninjas.com. So first up, we have the Subliminator hooded blanket. I'm gonna show you guys close-ups throughout this whole video, but as you guys can see, like the, the Sherpa on this is really, really nice. Like, right, like I'm gonna kinda try to hold it up to the camera and give you guys a little bit of a close-up of it, but it is really, really nice. I am just completely drowning in hooded blankets right now. I have them all over my table in front of me, but this Sherpa is very, very nice. I think that out of the three, the Subliminator one might have the best Sherpa lining. Now, Subliminator does have multiple variants of this blanket. They do have one that is just a micro fleece, and then they have this one, which is the more premium one. Like I said, I will put links down in the description if you wanna read about the pricing and all that stuff about this blanket, but definitely the Sherpa lining is definitely nice. I think this one is the best out of all three. I wanna to try to show you guys now some of the outside and the exterior lining of this blanket. I'm gonna hold it up and give you guys a good look at some of the quality of this so that way you guys can see exactly the print quality of this blanket. I think that Subliminator definitely, I always say that name wrong, I think I'm saying it right, but last time I made a review with some of their products, you guys said that I was saying it wrong. I think I'm saying it right, I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure you guys will let me know down in the comments, but the outside, the print quality is definitely super crisp. You know, this thing is, you know, definitely nice. The exterior is soft, um, but I think the really, the shining star of this blanket is probably the interior Sherpa lining. I'll make sure to include tons of close-ups of this Sherpa lining throughout this video so that way you guys can get a good idea of exactly what it looks like obviously you guys can't feel it you guys are watching this video um, so you guys are not gonna be able to feel it obviously but the Sherpa is definitely nice. I think the only downside with the quality of this blanket is that the Sherpa side and then this side are actually two separate pieces. Like I'm gonna try to demonstrate this for me for you guys basically right like if I hold this up I can pull these apart so it's almost like two pieces that were sewed together and then on the inside um, it's like hollow I guess you could say so it makes it a little bit tough to wear makes it a little bit tough to lay on the couch with um, and makes it just feel a little bit awkward right I don't I to be honest I don't know if your customers will ever notice that um, I, it's just something that I noticed uh, and it's a little bit different than some of the other blankets that we're gonna review today but overall uh, this thing is super nice the Sherpa is definitely the star here print quality is great the only drawback right like the only negative of this blanket would probably be that it is you know you can pull apart each side like I'm gonna try to demonstrate it again for you guys if you can see here right like this is the corner of the blanket and I can kind of do this right so I can pull the it, it's, it feels like two pieces of fabric together. I don't know how to describe it. I hope that makes sense. Uh, and I think overall, like I said, the Sherpa is the star. Uh, the outside is definitely printed nice. And the only downside is that the, the two pieces feel like you can pull them apart.
All right, guys, and up next, this is the WC Fulfillment Hooded Blanket. They only have one variant, unlike the Subliminator one. Uh, they just have just this one version of it. it does come in a kid size, too. This is the adult size, uh, and overall, this thing is also very nice, right? Like, I'm going to put a link down in the description. You guys can check it out, the full review, and check out all the pricing, all the different things about mock-ups and all that there. Today, like I said, I want to strictly focus on the quality of this blanket and talk to you guys about some of the strong points that it has, right? So right off the bat, right, like the Subliminator one, it was able to be pulled apart, right? This one is all one piece, right? Like everything, I can't pull this apart. Uh, everything is one piece. Um, and just like the Subliminator one, the exterior is super soft. This one might actually be a little bit more soft than the Subliminator one. Uh, and overall, this one feels very nice to the touch. I think that, you know, I would love to have a blanket like this and, and use it, you know, to go to bed with or to sit on the couch with. Everything about this blanket feels super soft on the exterior. Um, I've had several samples of these in my hands before. I used to sell a lot of them on my store and I used to order samples of them too to film my own video ads. So I've handled these a lot and I think overall the construction of them feels very good. Uh, I think this whole exterior piece here I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll put close-ups, like I said, um, of this, but it has like a like an exterior rib, I guess you could say, um, where the it just fe it just feels like it's really constructed very well. Um, same thing up here on the hood. The hood part feels very good, uh, and I think the only thing that some people might complain about this blanket about is the the interior, right? Like the the sherpa lining. I think that some people tend to call this one a fleece because it feels a little bit fleecy, um, but it. it is like it is a sherpa it is a short haired sherpa and overall it's super soft like don't get me wrong this thing is super soft i actually prefer a blanket like this that's not a long haired one like the subliminator one but i think if you are calling it a sherpa people are going to gravitate towards the subliminator one but i do think that this one is very nice and i think the exterior is probably a little bit softer so and overall right like i think because this one is less fuzzy and less sherpa e i guess you could say this one feels a little bit lighter a little bit nicer to like wear on you and I think that, that it doesn't feel like as bulky right like I'm somebody that likes a little bit thinner blanket and I think this one you know does the trick for me but when it comes to Sherpa I think that the subliminator one takes the cake and then this one you know is definitely very nice but the, the shorter fleece you know just doesn't compare to the fluffy Sherpa uh, I think the exterior though I think that the exterior of this blanket is the softest of the three and I think on the WC fulfillment app they actually describe it as a suede polyester uh, I don't I don't really know what the heck that means but it feels super soft i think this one is the softest of the three blankets i don't think that the sherpa is the nicest but like i said it is definitely super nice there's nothing negative about this at all it's just that the subliminator one is super fluffy it has long hairs on it and i think people would really gravitate towards that for me i like a little bit shorter one the other like the longer one is not really for me uh, and I think that this one overall, the inside feels okay. I think most people would choose the subliminator one. And I think the exterior of this is very nice, super soft uh, and definitely a very nice blanket. All right guys, so the last blanket that we're gonna review is the all over print it hooded blanket. And I think that if you guys look at the full review, you will see that this one costs the least, right? Like like I said, I'm not gonna jump into price or shipping times or shipping costs or anything like that. But if you guys go check out the full reviews of these products, like I said, the links will be down in the description. This one is the cheapest one out of the three. And I think that it sort of shows, right? Like this is definitely not a poor product. It's definitely not a low quality product, but just like the outside feel of it um, I, I would describe it as a little dry feeling um, I don't know if that is a good description of it it feels a little bit dry um, the other ones are super soft like it has that suede polyester feel to it uh, and then the inside too like these ones are super fluffy right like everything about this blanket super fluffy it's definitely a Sherpa uh, it has a little bit longer hair like I said I'll put close-ups so you guys can see exactly uh, what it is i'll try to hold it up so you guys can see it a little bit but the inside is definitely super fluffy it does feel a little bit dry though and i have actually heard of customers reviewing it that way where it feels a little bit dry i think even the exterior of it um, is is a little bit dry like I don't know how to describe it It just feels a little bit dry it's not super soft um, the print quality is definitely phenomenal like everything about the print quality looks really really good I'll try to hold this up so you guys can get a closer look at it um, super clear um, this is actually the same exact design as the subliminator uh, blanket I'll try to do like a like a 
uh, side by side in some of the cutscenes, so you guys can see the two same designs compared to one another. Uh, the WC Fulfillment Blanket, they sent me that. I didn't get to send them a design for it, so I don't have the same exact design on that one. But overall, this all over printed blanket, it is the cheapest one, like I said. And if you guys are looking for a cheap hooded blanket to put on your store, this is the one because Customers are probably not going to complain about this. They're probably not going to, you know, act like this is a cheap product or feel like it's a bad product or anything like that. So, like I said, if you're looking for something that's a little bit cheaper, you don't want to spend, you know, upwards of $40 on your hooded blanket, this is the one for you. And like I said, I'll put links down in the description. Uh, overall, this blanket, like I said, it's not it's not poor. It just feels a little bit dry. The print quality is great. The interior is soft. It's definitely not as soft as the other two. And then same thing with the exterior. It's definitely not as soft as the other two. So overall. All, definitely a great product if you're looking for a cheaper option this is the one and this is the one that you should go with all right guys so that is the hooded blanket comparison i hope you guys did enjoy it i hope you guys got a lot out of it i hope i included enough close-ups for you right after i am done talking i'm gonna let a whole bunch of close-ups just kind of roll for you so you can see some different comparisons i'll put the blankets side by side so you can see the interiors compared to one another hope you guys do enjoy that check out the links down in the description for the full reviews of these three products my name is joe robert thank you guys for watching and i'll I'll see you guys in the next video.